Hello my friends, my name is Atefe and in this video I will show you how to use Figma to make improve your Power BI report. Let's go to our demo. I created the really simple demo and as you can see we have a title of our page report and also there is one uh, big visual and four small visuals. So click on the white space, then go to canvas setting. Uh, make sure that, that you, your report page has which dimension. So keep in mind that as we want to create background in Figma and apply that in our report, when you want to create background, you should have the dimension of your page. So let's go to the Figma. Here, uh, this is the interface of Figma and this is really easy to use. For the start, I create the frame and uh, for the frame, uh, because we have the frame exist, we can use it. I use this TV and uh, also I will add the uh, rectangle on the same size because I want to do color. Add some colors on that so I add ellipses here the top of my frame and then I can change the color and fill color is to angular for example for angular I can change the color for example for this one I want to have a little bit of this color and uh, for the second part I want to have a bit gray color and for the other side I want to have the opposite color like this and then for the other part I want to have again gray and that's it and then I want to add effect on that in the effect I use layer blur and then I can do this on 200 and as you can see our page is turning to more better look and you can just uh, turn your shape and put your shape whatever you want and then we can add some other ellipses and put in the other side of your page example for this one I want to do something like this I want to keep some gray also then I, you can just adjust okay and then I remember that I had one big visual so I will add one rectangle here and then we can just do the curve for that for example for this one I want to do the curve to 20 for all edge but you can select each edge that you want and for example if you put zero here one edge that it is zero is coming to the sharp so what for this for me i want to use this edge and then i can change the color to for example, I like to put the A for that and nothing else. I don't want to add anything else. I want to keep it as a solid color. And then I will create other four visuals, a small rectangle. I will create one of them and then copy because I want to have the same visual for all of them. So let's 
so I fill this again with angular but it, but this time I want to put it as simple as possible and uh, just I will put three and then a bit more and this is white and then I want to change my white to here and I want to go not in the middle I want to go to the corner here and here in the corner Yes, for me it seems good, it seems okay. But you can do whatever you want. And then I want to add storic to that. For this one I want to create the storic. I want white. And then I want to have point five, not this big. And for effect, I want to have drop shadow actually. And you can change the color of shadow, but I want to keep as it is. So then you can have the other three visuals that you had before and then you can adjust them example for this part I can go a bit down and then select all of them and then align left and for the distribute vertically and then we have the same thing at the same size so and I want to add the name of my report it was sales report and I will do it a bit bigger example like 24 or uh, 32 it is okay it's a bit in the left I use uh, up and down and my keyword make it in the left side and then you can select it and change the color even you can just uh, do the like angular color for this one and for example based on your company that you are working with the company color for example if there is more blue or more white you can put it there but I like to keep uh, as solid color very close to black and then you can do the effect for that also but uh, I, I'm not fan of the effect for the name of page so I will put this off and then I will keep as simple as it is and that that's it and then we can export our whole design to 
the location that we want and then before exporting we can see the preview and if preview is good you can export if you don't like it you can change it and again uh, export but for now I think uh, it seems good and uh, it's better to be as a SVG and then export and the name is uh, TV one four here click on white space and then canvas background and browse for browse for what I had then open as you can see visuals are almost at a good position I remove the title I will make it bigger and then apply it to all of them that I had example for general in the properties I have to have 76 and 100, 236 and I will pick my last visual the good position and then I will align them left and then distribute vertically and then I will do the effects of background of uh, the borders and then they, they look better and also you can change the color of uh, title also but I want to keep as it is and I will fit this visual inside my rectangle and then for this one also I can delete the background okay I created another one before and uh, as you can see the highlight are different and here the highlight is different also so you can choose each highlight you want and each thing that you want but I, I wanted to just show you that we can use Figma for our designing purpose so I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next time